Hey YouTube, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, and I'm here for my six-week post-op update on this um, beautiful Memorial Day. Um, I finally figured out how to get videos from my Kindle to my computer, so I'm recording on my Kindle today, which I much prefer. Um, anyway, let's start with the numbers. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to put the glasses on and off for this one. <laughs> um, so um, I had my surgery VSG on April 14th at um, Kaiser South Bay in um, Harbor City, California with Dr. Bellsberg. My um, highest weight uh, before I started the pre-op diet, which at Kaiser is um, over multiple months, uh, was 402. My weight uh, day of surgery was 360. And last week I was 329.8. And today, it's kind of amazing, <laughs> wait for it, uh, 322. So that's 7.8 pounds down from last week, which is um, pretty freaking incredible. <laughs> um, pretty excited about that. I So that puts me at um, 38.6, is that right? 38.6 pounds down since surgery and 80 pounds um, down since I started this process, which is, like I said, pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I know, you know, I know that there's no other way I could have done this, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to um, have had surgery. It's interesting, last night I was talking to one of my um, ex-boyfriends who is, I don't know if everybody knows what an F.A. is, but that's a, a fat admirer of people men who are particularly attracted to women who are overweight. And so I was sort of interested to hear what he would have to say about the fact that I had had weight loss surgery. And he was actually great and really supportive. But when I told him, you know, how many calories I was eating and how much protein I was eating and everything, he said, well, if you just did that without surgery, you would lose as much weight as you're losing now. And I'm like, yeah, but there is no possible way I could have done this before surgery. I would have like um, been through the McDonald's drive through weeks and weeks and weeks ago. So anyway, 80 pounds down since I started in um, January. Super, super, super excited at the progress I've made. So one of the things that I've started looking at is um, I track everything in my fitness pal, and I would like to um, to have friends on my fitness pal so I could see what other people are doing as well. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Um, I think I'm on there under my uh, real name, which is Elizabeth Kilpatrick or uh, E. Kilpatrick, probably. Um, but I'll double check and put it underneath. So I would love uh, if anybody wanted to friend me on my fitness pal. But so I track that every day, and then I have this whole big long spreadsheet that I keep where I put, uh, you know, take the pertinent information from my fitness pal. So that, you know, later on, if I hit a stall or whatever, not that, I mean, really, I think the stalls just come because your body's adjusting, but I just want to be able to look week from week, and, week from week and see how many calories am I averaging, how much protein, et cetera, et cetera. So I've been really curious about how many calories and how much protein others are eating because the last time I went to see my surgeon, we didn't really talk about this. I mean, I was hardly eating anything because it was my first, uh, post-op visit, and I go back again this week, so we'll probably talk about it then, but I know it's something that I've been really interested in seeing in other people's videos. So I thought both for myself and for other people, I just kind of list off what my um, averages were for the week before in the update. So I've got to put the glasses back on. But so last week, my average calories were 798. Um, my protein was 75 grams. My carbs were an average of 64, but they're really usually around 35 or 40. I threw it off one week by eating a, or by one day by eating a part of a sweet potato, which I sort of forgot. I don't know how I could forget how many carbs it had, but when I looked at it, my stats the next day, I was like, what? That can't be right. 140 carbs? But it was. So anyway, no more sweet potatoes for a while. Um, fat, 32 grams. Sodium, 1,300 milligrams or micrograms or whatever it is that it tracks in my fitness pal. Um, water, my average was only 43 ounces, so that's an area that I really want to um, kick it up. And my steps per day averaged 5,161. So 
Water and steps are my goals to bump them up uh, between this week and when we talk again next week. Um, and in terms of what I'm eating, I'm pretty much eating mainly the same things <laughs> every day. I, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but this is the protein shake that I use. It's called Syntha 6. Um, it has more calories and more carbs than, um, than I know that our uh, food plan recommended. But I just really like it, and I don't like a whole lot of them. So for the time being, at least, I'm going to keep with that shake if it gets to the point where I stop losing or I'm you know, getting more calories from other things, I will look for another one. But in the intro, if you guys have ones that you like, um, go ahead and leave a comment. I would love to try some new kinds. I like the ones that are not the ready to drink. I like the ones that you mix because I can do it in the bullet with ice and make it like a milkshake. Anyway, so, and this is, um, and I actually mi mix this with nonfat milk. Um, and I think with the nonfat milk, it's like 28 grams of protein. And the other thing that I do every day is um, strawberry sorbet injury. Um This is uh, 20 grams of protein. And I think it's recommended that you mix it with eight ounces of water or something. But I mix it with, um, I mix it with, uh, 24 ounces of water and a crystal light and then just sort of sip on that all day so just with those two things that's like 50 grams of protein and then I'm getting the remainder from the other things that I'm eating so what else am I eating I'm eating um, little cheese squares and um, dill pickle spears that's like my snack is a cheese spear and a dill pickle spear which is really weird but it tastes really good um, Greek yogurt and then different things for dinner. I mean, usually a protein. I got, um, uh, I went to the Japanese restaurant up the street and got a side of uh, teriyaki chicken and they put the sauce on the side. So I just used very little sauce. And I mean, I ate that for three, three meals. So, um, and last night I tried uh, World According to Egg Faces um, ricotta bake. It was delicious. I think it was a little too delicious for me because I ate it too fast and got, um, I didn't throw up, but I just didn't feel well pretty quickly. Um, and that's also like a lot of cheese, I think. Um, but it was super, super, super tasty. Um, I think if I make it again, I'm gonna, I haven't been, I don't think that I've been released to really eat vegetables, even though I'm eating pickles, which I guess you would consider a vegetable. But I go back to the uh, surgeon on Wednesday. But I think the next time I would make it, I would make it like maybe with zucchini or something like that. But anyway, it was delicious. And right now I just um, poached a bunch of chicken breast and I'm gonna make um, chicken salad that should last most of the week. So that's pretty much what I mean. Oh, oh, I forgot the other thing I'm eating that's not so good, hold on. Let me get my visual aid. So these um, Greek yogurt, blueberry, vanilla ice cream bars are um, the devil. They're, <laughs> their stats are not really that good. They're like 120 calories and like, I don't know what, uh, a lot of carbs. Like uh, eight, yeah, 18 grams of carbs and five grams of protein. But I really, 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 really like these at the end of the day. Um, I don't know. We'll see uh, if I need to stop buying these or not. I'm thinking I might. But for right now, we're going to keep buying them because I just went to the store today and bought some more. So um, one thing that I've noticed this week is I really, really, really respect all you people who have, um, you know, regular nine to five, seven to six, whatever jobs where you have to go into an office. I work from home. So can pretty much, you know, any time, even if I'm on a conference call, you know, go get something to drink or eat if I'm not feeling well. And I just still get so tired. Um, if I'm gone on Mondays, I have outside meetings. And so I'm gone usually from um, about 8.30 until 3. And I, every Monday when I come home, I'm just exhausted and have to sleep for a couple hours. So still, still a little tired. Um, Saturday I was gone most of the day, got home and did, I had to sleep for forever. And because I wasn't, I'm not able to regulate my food so well when I'm gone. It's like I get home and I haven't eaten anything. I haven't drank enough and I've got to try to fit that in in the couple hours before I go to bed. But so anyway, 
much, much, much respect to you guys who um, who have to go out um, into the world every day and try to make this work. Okay, we're already at 10 minutes, so I better hurry up. Let's see. Um, I'm going to hold on my therapeutic revel revelation till next time. Uh, or maybe I'll make a, I can start making a second video. But I have to um, tell you that I got a new car this weekend. And it's, um, it's YouTube's fault that I got a new car. <laughs> it's a good thing, but I was watching um, I Heart Lacey RNY's videos. I'm kind of going back and watching everybody's journey that people recommend. And if you have people that you really like, um, go ahead and leave them below because I'm addicted to watching these YouTube videos. But um, uh, I Heart Lacey had gotten into a car accident with her daughter in the car, and she was talking about how... Um, I don't know, she was just talking about the importance of, um, I don't know, being safe. And then when she got a new car, she was talking about how she felt like she, you know, deserved it. Or it was red. And she was talking about how before she would have never gotten a red car because it would have drawn too much attention. Well, my car had 175,000 miles on it. It was a real... Um, you know, it still looked fine on the outside, but every time you drove it on the freeway over like 50 miles an hour, it felt like um, it was all going to fall apart. And I had been starting to feel like it wasn't safe. And um, I had been worried about my son driving it. And um, so I watched that video and I thought, you know what, I need to, I need to do this. Um, and so I did. And it all like fell together so easily. And it feels really great to, um, to have a car that's nice and that I know I can depend on and that's going to keep us safe because I deserve that, you know. And I, I think for so long, I just felt like I don't deserve the things that other people do. And I don't know if it's just because I was overweight, but that was part of it. And, you know, I do deserve it. I do deserve to have a nice, you know, a nice car. And we, I do deserve to be safe and protected in the world. So... Anyway, that's, uh, I have a new car and a car payment for the first time in, uh, like five years and it's all YouTube's fault. So anyway, okay. How about some, uh, quick shout outs? Um, first I want to give a shout out to Norm who's in our, um, my options track 88 group that we all went through classes together before we got surgery. His surgery is scheduled, I think for, um, Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure, but, um, I know everything's going to go great. He's going to do wonderful. He's one of the um, last ones of us to get surgery because he had a lot of stuff going on um, in May. And we had a get-together of our group last week, which was so fabulous. I mean, it's really wonderful to have a group of people locally who you can talk to and connect with. And it's pretty much all girls. So Norm, uh, Norm has put up with all of us, uh, <laughs> all of us girls. And... Um, I'm just really excited for him to get a surgery and get on with this part of his life. And then also, um, my big adventure, I wanted to give a shout out to her. She uh, went to Mexico last week to have her surgery. I think her surgery was on Friday, and I think she should be um, home or heading home. So I hope to hear from her soon and hear that everything went fabulously and that she's now on the loser's bench. And then I also wanted to give a shout out to my friend Nicole, who um, was watching my videos and saw me talk about uh how sick I was of having soup all the time and so she sent me this in the mail a uh, great cookbook with wonderful recipes for soup I just thought that was so um sweet and kind and it was such a um I don't know it was such a nice uh surprise to come home to anyway I think that's about it oh I know the one thing I was noticing as I'm watching videos is it seems like a lot of people have kind of a catchphrase at the end of their videos so I guess I need to think of one of those. I'm thinking uh, I want one like the ones they have on The Real Housewives. I don't know why, and I don't know why I just admitted that I watch The Real Housewives, but I do. Um, but anyway, if anybody has any ideas uh, of a catchphrase, let me know, and maybe I'll think about that between now and next week. So I think that's a wrap for today, and I will talk to you guys next week. Have a great week.